fucking move. Empty the fucking register. Jesus Christ. Who fucking talk to who you told? You heard the main Greg. Dave? Hey, you wanna get shot? Fucking put the money in the bag. Hurry up! How did things get so fucked up? Hey, wake up. We need to talk. What? I'm tired. I know, but we can sleep later because right now we need to talk. Davey. He's asleep. Like I should be. You didn't happen to see yesterday's mail, did you? No. Well, we're being evicted. What the fuck are you talking about? We have two weeks to either vacate the premises or pay back the late rent. I paid the rent. Well, apparently you didn't. Listen, I'll talk to Shell tomorrow. We'll get this all straight now. Listen, I love you, but if you can't even hold down a job at the movie theater, how are you supposed to take care of me and Davey? Another job's bound to come along before too long. Look, I think it might be better if you just move out. Because things haven't been good for a while now, and you know that, and my mom's gonna move in, and... Your fucking mom? Listen, maybe once you have steady work, things will be different. This is fucking bullshit! Look what you've done now. Fuck this shit. I'm going to Matt's. Listen, man. I gotta ask you for a favor. Hold on a second. I gotta make this putt. This is looking really good. Fucking see that shit? So fucking awesome. Maybe it's not me so much as Daily. That fat fuck can play. Yeah, that's amazing. Alright. I'm spent. What is it? I need to ask you for a favor. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna blow you. Seriously, man. It's important. All right, all right, what is it? I need to ask you to help me rob the theater. Are you kidding me? That fucking shithole theater you used to work at? Why the fuck would I want to do that? Because me and Emily are getting evicted. I don't have the money to pay the back rent. You're the only person I know, you're the only person I can trust, and I don't want to go in there alone. All right, all right, calm down. Just as long as I get a fucking gun. Matt and I couldn't very well stick up the theater with cursing and raise voices alone. We needed guns. So we borrowed Matt's mom's car and paid Scary Larry a visit. Larry's this fucked up kid we went to high school with. He's a one-stop shop for any up-and-coming criminal's weapon needs. Real gangsters know better than to buy a piece at a gun shop. Shit gets traced back to you way too easily. But then again, you don't want to find yourself in an alley haggling with some jungle bunny over a Saturday night special that's clogged at best and liable to blow your hand off at worst. Larry's really the only game in town. Man, I can't believe Scarface is playing a fag in this movie. Shut up and pay attention. There's some valuable shit to be learned from this. Hold it. Fuck. Emily's home. She got away. One. I can't believe this. Two. I've been waiting tables all day to come home to you and your beer buddy watching fucking videos. That's great. You could at least pretend to be doing something productive with yourself. Sorry, honey. I don't need your sorries, Dave. I need you out of here. Can I get another beer? Well, at least it looks like Pacina got it out okay. With the research completed, it was time for us to employ the fruits of our labor. Man, are you sure you want to be doing this? It's not a matter of whether or not I want to do this. I've got no choice, all right? These fuckers fucked me, and now I'm going to fuck them. If something goes wrong, man. Stop being such a little bitch, all right? Nothing's going to go wrong. This is how it's going to go down. 
As it's Sunday night and nearing closing time, the theater's likely to be empty except for the manager. We go in there, wave our guns in the poor bastard's face and demand the cash. He'll be so piss scared, he won't know which way is up or down, and therefore, he won't think twice about forking over the green. In all likelihood, he'll just want us to get us the hell out of there. After all, the less time we spend in there, the less likely it is that he'll have a cap popped in his ass. It'll be a fucking cakewalk. Does that give you a peace of mind? Yeah, whatever. Let's get this shit over with. That's what I like to hear. Cut the floor plane and go straight to the fucking. We'll be out of there faster than you can blink. You'll see. Safe. I got my best friend killed. I'm unlikely to ever see my girl or my kid again. Who'd have thought that two minutes was a wrongdoing could land me 20 years? I sure didn't.